Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a scrunch ice dyed sweatshirt. The sweatshirt was washed and dried, soaked in a soda ash solution for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I spun it out of my panda spin dryer so it's just barely damp. I'm using my fingers to form some large scrunch folds in the sweatshirt. Then I'm going to hold these folds in place with some rubber bands. I'm placing the sweatshirt on top of a rack and then I'm going to put the rack down inside of a plastic tub. Then I need to make myself an ice barrier to hold the ice on top of the sweatshirt. So I'm using some silicone cake molds and these I purchased from Amazon. Down below this video in the description is a link to where I purchased these. I'm connecting the silicone cake molds then using a clothespin and attaching a clothespin onto my rack right next to the cake mold and that holds them in place. I'm going to add the dye on top of the ice for this sweatshirt, so I'm beginning by adding a layer of ice to the top of the sweatshirt. I'm adding quite a bit of ice since this sweatshirt is pretty thick. I'm beginning with gunmetal gray from Custom Colors and I'm just going to add a pretty liberal sprinkle all over the top of the ice. Next I'm using New Black from Dharma Trading Company. Followed by Dusty Rose from Custom Colors. Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash on top of this dye just so that I'm sure I have plenty of soda ash in my sweatshirt as all the ice melts and runs through it. I set the sweatshirt aside and I allowed all the ice to melt, came back and added another very thin layer of ice just to make sure I had plenty of dye that went through the sweatshirt. Then I let it continue to process for 48 hours. After 48 hours I took the sweatshirt to my sink and began rinsing it in cold water. I gradually warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing. Since sweatshirts are so thick, I went ahead and put the stopper in my sink, added a little squirt of Blue Dawn dish soap, and added some hot water to the sink, and just allowed the sweatshirt to soak for a while. I continued the soaking process until most of the excess dye was released from the sweatshirt and the water was almost clear. Then I threw it in the washing machine along with some Dharma's textile detergent and I washed it in hot water. After it was washed and dried, this is what our sweatshirt looks like. I really like this one. I like the color splits. I like the combination of the gunmetal gray and the new black. Those are, both have a lot of really cool color splits in them. I also like the effect that the dye has on the back side of the sweatshirt. Because I didn't flip the sweatshirt and add more dye to the back, it wasn't as heavy on the back side. And I think it gives it a cool effect. So hey, if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.